Okay, we're going to start off our human hearts drawing a kind of typical heart shape. I know they don't look like the ones that you buy in card shops, but just very lightly in pencil. I'm just going to draw a kind of typical heart shape, more or less. What do you reckon? There we go. Next, I'm going to add like a circle shape here. So this is actually going to be called the left atrium. That's its proper name. There we go. And then now we're going to draw a big old artery here, which curves round. And it goes off like that. It's going to go from this top left hand corner and it's just going to join up round there. And then it's going to split into two tubes. There we go. We're going to draw it as if the tubes have been cut off. So I'm just going to draw like a little hole there and a little hole there. Next, we're going to be drawing the pulmonary veins. They're the ones that bring back blood from the lungs. So I can hear you going, what's the difference between arteries and veins? Well, I will tell you. Arteries carry blood away from the heart and veins carry blood towards the heart. That's the difference. There we go. So that's that one. Now we're going to be drawing the massive artery, which is called the aorta. So this one goes up like this, goes round like this. And then we draw three tubes up the top. Little hole there. Now for the right atrium, starting here. Goes up and then this is called the vena cava. This one over here. Now let's go over this in pen and erase all the pencil marks. Okay, so I've erased all the pencil marks. Now we're going to add some detail and we're going to start off with the left coronary artery. It's gonna come down here. It's a bit confusing because in um, you know biological diagrams, we swap the left and the right because this is belonging to the body. So this is actually the left ventricle. And this one here is the right ventricle. That's the right atrium. And this one's the left atrium. So it's all topsy-turvy. Anyway, let's get on with drawing. So. Let's draw this artery coming down here, the left coronary artery. Looks like lots of little branches. So imagine you're drawing a tree, an upside down tree. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but just to make it look realistic. Brilliant. So it goes all the way down there. So I'm now going to add some shading to make it look a little bit more three dimensional. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to explain some parts of the heart. So the right side of the heart, this bit, receives the deoxygenated blood, I can't even say that, <laughs> from the body and it pumps the blood to the lungs to collect a fresh supply of oxygenated blood. And then the left side of the heart then pumps the blood back round through the body again, all the nice oxygenated blood. So just drawing some shade, some shading here, some shadow shading. So just using lots of little lines, just like that. And then the same down here. Just on one side, just here. And then round, just do a little bit more in this one. Here we go. And then particularly round here. Just 
going to colour in these tubes just at the ends so that they look hollow. A bit more shading around here on the left atrium. So the human heart beats over 100,000 times a day. That's a lot. And you know that beating sound of your heart, the one that you can hear, that's caused by the valves of the heart opening and closing. I'm just going to draw a little bit more shading down here. A little bit more under here. Drawing lines in the opposite direction now, cross hatching. If you watch lots of my videos, you know that I'm a big fan of cross hatching when it comes to doing shadows. Right, so let's give this a bit more kind of a 3D effect, a bit more dimension. more here, some longer lines here, a bit more here as well. Just going to go over this one again just to make it a little bit darker here at the bottom. You can colour in these. larger lines here so large ones there and there we have our finished human heart drawing i really hope you've enjoyed it and thank you for spending your precious time with me hope you like the next one that's just here check it out